On the incident outside the Russian embassy, um, there's been more comments out of Moscow uh, or wherever. Um, it seems like they're bent on humiliating you over this incident. Do you have a response? So I've been clear from the podium <coughs> that we would prefer to deal with this matter in private, government to government channels. However, because, as you noted, the Russian government continues to make allegations about this incident, I am now compelled to set the record straight. On the 6th of June, an accredited U.S. diplomat who identified himself in accordance with embassy protocols entering the American embassy compound was attacked by a Russian policeman. The action was unprovoked, and it endangered the safety of our employee. The Russian claim that the policeman was protecting the embassy from an unidentified individual is simply untrue. In addition to the attack on the 6th of June, Russian security services have intensified their harassment against U.S. personnel in an effort to disrupt our diplomatic and consular operations. We've privately urged the Russian government to stop the harassment of American personnel in Russia. And as I said before, the safety and well-being of our diplomatic and consular personnel abroad and their accompanying family members are things we take very, very seriously. All right. Um, on the individual, the diplomat, uh, there were some reports that he sustained injuries, including maybe a broken arm is is that true and has he has he since left the country been PNG'd or anything like that privacy considerations restrict me from speaking about uh, uh, health um, and as a standard practice I'm, I'm not going to comment on the status of any of our employees uh, serving overseas uh, con in Congress there's calls for an investigation do you uh, support those will you undertake an investigation I I'm not aware of any investigation that uh, that we are going to undertake if that changes or something I'll, I'll and then, let you know uh, what does this say about the the broader U.S.-Russian relationship, is it getting, uh, if you can't even operate in normal manner in the country, is, is it getting to a level, a worse level than it's been in, in a very long time? Well, I mean, I think it certainly speaks, as I said, uh, 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 of to the kinds of harassment over the last couple of years. I mean, this is a very graphic example uh, and a very violent one. Um, uh, but it comes on the heels of two years of increasing uh, diplomatic harassment uh, by Russian authorities that is also unprovoked and unnecessary. Right. And as I said, I think a week or so ago, you know, Russian claims that uh, they're getting har harassed here are, are simply without foundation. Um, so, uh, you know, you want to have a conversation about in-kind uh, treatment, uh, uh, it's time for Russia to treat our diplomats with the, uh, you know, in, in the same manner in which they're treated here when they come to the United States. Um, and as for the broader relationship, uh, the our, our relationship with Russia is complicated, and uh, we certainly don't see eye to eye on everything. Uh, there are areas where we have in the past, and I think we'll continue to see co cooperation with them, such as on Syria. Um, and the political process there. Uh, there are obviously still areas where there's tension. Ukraine and Minsk implementation is one of them, and certainly this. Um, uh, there's no need for this. When there's so many more important things for us to be working on with Russia, uh, and so much real meaningful geopolitical progress that can be had, uh, uh, there's no <coughs> place for this kind of treatment, and there's no reason for it. Are you... Um uh, prepared to make an official complaint uh, about a Vienna Convention violation? I, I don't have anything uh, on uh, on that to say. And today. then, lastly, are do you have are you considering any countermeasures against uh, Russia in terms of uh, diplomatic presence in the United States, whether it's uh, expelling embassies, limiting movement, or otherwise uh, responding to this incident? Um, so, a couple of things on there. I'd say. In, in, Certainly a sign of how seriously we take it. Uh, as I said earlier, the Secretary raised it directly with Foreign Minister Lavrov on the very day that it occurred. Sorry. That's okay. Sorry. We're, uh, we're well aware that uh, such uh, efforts against uh, U.S. personnel are not always sanctioned by all elements of the Russian government. So we're going to look to senior Russian officials with whom we engage to rein in those elements seeking to impede our diplomatic and consular activities in Russia, in, in Russia, I'm sorry, 
in Russia and our bilateral relationship. And again, this has been raised at the very highest levels, this particular incident, uh, and I think you'll continue to see us uh, uh, do that.